Hello and welcome. You may be looking at the title of this video and say, Chris, didn't you just do a video about this the other day? Well, there is a slight difference in the title. Last time we used LibreOffice. Today we're going to be looking at doing the same thing, but we with G Numeric. If you're not familiar, G Numeric is a lightweight um, spreadsheet type application. Uh, last time we did LibreOffice, which is kind of a big and bulky. It's a full suite. If you're looking for something lighter weight, uh, G Numeric would be an option. So here again, we have two spreadsheet files, one an open document uh, spreadsheet and the other one's a Microsoft Excel file. And if you have GNumeric installed, uh, GNumeric, uh, if you don't, you use your package manager, sudo apt install or whatever package manager you use, uh, but uh, GNumeric, and then we can give it the name of one of these files. We'll say people dot, uh, we'll go with the uh, Microsoft, doesn't matter. They're both the same file. It's giving me a, a formatting issue just from because I converted it from LibreOffice, so it was saying there's something wrong with the file, but it's okay. Um, so here is the file. Now, in LibreOffice, you go to File, and you go Save As, and then from the drop-down list, you can choose a CSV file, but you'll notice there's no CSV file as an option inside GNumeric. Ergonumeric? I'm not sure. GNumeric is what I'm going to call it. You would think there would be some sort of export option in here, maybe. I don't know. No, it's not there. It's all the way over here under Data export data, which I think is a little odd, which is one of the main reasons I'm doing this video is because it, I had to look up where it was. I knew it had the functionality because pretty much every spreadsheet application does. Uh, but here you can go export as a CSV file. Uh, again, that's a comma separated value, but you can use whatever value you want. We'll save it as a people.csv. We'll click save. Um, it doesn't give us the options that uh, LibreOffice did as far as what you want to use as a delimiter. Uh, we will go ahead and now close this window, and now we should be able to cat out our people.csv. And here we go. This is it. Now you'll notice uh, it does do it a little different uh, than LibreOffice did, uh, where LibreOffice asked you for uh, string, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, it, it, using quotations around the strings here, which it did for the address. I'm assuming one of these addresses probably have a comma on it, comma in it. Uh, LibreOffice didn't put that in there. So that, that does make a little bit of a difference if you were like trying to cut through all this, but very little. So anyway, that is exporting from the GUI, but how do you do it from the shell using GNumeric? Let's go ahead and remove our people.csv file. Once you have GNumeric installed, it actually has a shell command called ssconvert. So once you have GNumeric installed, ssconvert is installed, and you can use that to convert. And all you have to do is ssconvert, the name of the file you want to convert. In this case, we'll use the open document uh, spreadsheet, and uh, give it the output name that you want, um, people.csv. And not only is it quicker, not that LibreOffice was super slow, uh, LibreOffice, I think, took at least a second, second and a half, where this is like a half a second. So bit faster. Uh, like I said, GNumeric is definitely a lighter weight application. The command is a lot shorter. You don't have to do LibreOffice dash dash headless dash dash convert dash to CSV. This you just give it ssconvert, the file name, and then the output. And I'm assuming it's looking at the uh, extension here to know what to convert it to, because I'm sure it probably does. Actually, I know it does, because if you, um, well, first of all, let me show you that it did convert it, just as the GUI did. But if you were to give it a format, let's say I just did that. Okay, it's going to give you an error. It doesn't know what a CS file is. So then you can uh, use this command, ssconvert dash dash list dash exporters. And it gives you a list here of all the different formats that it, ex it will convert to. You can convert uh, uh, to Microsoft Spreadsheets. Uh, you can convert to HTML, uh, LaTeX, uh, and of course CSV files. So a lot of different, and even PDF. So you can convert, I guess, any of these formats to any of these formats, which is super nice. But again, we're working with the CSV files. And again, now we can do what we did last time. We can grep for something. We can grep for like Jones from people.csv. And then I can you know, grep again and say, oh, I want to see Alice. There's Alice. And then I can use cut dash with a delimiter of a comma. And then we're going to go field four, comma five, comma six. And we have our address. Uh, and if we wanted to, we can even go field seven. There's Alice's birthday. So now we can again do that same thing. If you have uh, Fuzzy Finder installed, FZF, um, which is most likely in your repositories. If not, it's very easy to install from GitHub. And then we can just say cat people dot CSV into FZF. And now it gives us this. And now we have this real time uh, list. So I can do 
you know, Brown, and then I can go, oh, I want Owen Brown, there he is, or if it's not Owen, I can go up to uh, Thomas Brown, and then I'll hit enter, and I should get his birthday as the output. So that is using GNumeric from the shell and the GUI to convert to CSV files or other formats as well, which makes, again, super easy to then use grep and cut and awk and whatever uh, tools you use to uh, manipulate text to accomplish tasks. So I hope you found this useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description of the video. Again, you can use this. You can use LibreOffice. This is a bit lighter weight, smaller um, program, runs a little bit faster, especially on lighter weight machines. I thank you for watching. Search through my videos there. Check out the links in the description of the video. I'll put a link to the, uh, the CSV file so you can download it and uh, you can use it as an example. You can convert it to whatever format you want and uh, play around with it. Uh, also, in the links in the description is my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash millx1000. I would appreciate some support if you enjoy my videos. You can also do a one-time support over at filmsbychris.com. Again, the link in the description under support. There's a PayPal link. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.